So what's this game today, Zandra? It looks okay. It's, it's adorable. It's a game called Space Mouse. I uh, a friend of mine, uh, Misty, who's really into like old arcade games and and just generally uh, antique games, uh, let me know about it, and I just fell in love with it to the point of wanting to speedrun it. And here I am. It's super cute. It's very quirky, and it's mostly RNG. So really, we'll just be doing our best today. <laughs> That's all we can ask for. <sighs> okay. So, uh, do I just count yeah. things off yeah. and start? Perfect, perfect. Yeah, so uh, this is a, an endlessly looping arcade game, but we'll just be doing one loop today. And that'll take us through all five levels. Okay. So uh, keep in mind, this is a remake, a, a nearly a 35, I believe, year old remake of and a very old PC uh, 8001 game. So it, it has been up, slightly upgraded, but and and a lot of the folks working on the original and on the remake have been like shouted out. So oh 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 right right. Speaking of which, some of the people working on include Takumi, the artist. Uh, have uh, we have until level three to reach that incentive. So please let me know at the start of level three if we've reached it. Yeah, we are currently about uh, $335 away. Uh, so if people want to see it, they need to get those donations in quickly. Perfect. Awesome. So I'll just get us started on the game. Okay, so Count we'll be going point. in. Yeah. <clears throat> so three, two, one, and go. Good luck. Thank you. So we are Alice a cute little cat astronaut. And we need to get to the top of this building because that's where our ship is. But all these mice from space are here and they just want to give us so many hugs. However, hugs are like really dangerous for us right now. So we gotta, uh, we gotta be careful. We can't, you know, we, we can't spend too much time hugging mice, especially mice from space. So the whole game is about dodging those mice and grabbing all the other stuff. And if you're familiar with the uh, Japanese uh, or Chinese uh, lottery called Ghost Leg, then you'll you'll be familiar with how this game works because it's basically about predicting where the mice and the power-ups will fall because they always follow a very specific pattern. And now I have the mice. I gotta lie down. It's just too much. Okay, here we go. So yeah, everything like the mice always fall down and then keep going horizontally. They uh, so you can you can learn. Ah, oh, there we go. How they go. And now we made it to the top. Our spaceship is here, and then we can get to the next building. Bye bye. This is super cute. Oh, this is incredibly cute. Yeah. <laughs> this is a uh, very I'm... good aesthetic. My my kind of aesthetic. Yep, I, I love this game. Okay, here we go. Now we're in the wing building, which is where the musical artist is. When I hear so every bass mouse, by the way, I can't help but think like space mouse cowst to cowst, and Ooh. like I assume it's not related <laughs> to space ghost, but it's all I can think of. Yep. It's. <gasps> yeah, you gotta be no. Can't oh, bug mouse space trap. Rude. Here we go. So yeah, uh, power-ups let you just push on through and just break everything, which is great. Uh, however, they don't, uh, they don't, like, appear every, like, that often, and... <sighs> Sorry, gotta be careful. They don't appear that often, and you have to really be careful. Oh, no. Okay, uh... I zigged when I should have zagged, and... <laughs> I'm just gonna... that just the way? Yeah, I'm just gonna kiss the the artist here, the music, the musician. So we can change the music. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's a shortcut. I'm gonna see. I want to grab the shortcut. Here we go. I use I use my last key to get this shortcut, and now I'm just sailing through the rest of this level. There we go. So each each level has a theme with regards to the uh, the te the dev team. So the second level, this was the musicians tower. And the next building is the building of the artist, Takumi. Which is where we're going to say hi. So, how are we on that incentive? Uh, doing one quick refresh to see. 
looks like we are still uh, short about three hundred dollars. So. Oh, okay, that way. In that case, we will unfortunately not be hugging, not be giving Takumi our heart today. But that's okay, because Takumi's working. Takumi's very busy. Takumi has to like make all of this pixel art. Uh, this level is really interesting because the mice are very slow, and that kind of throws off your rhythm. And it's the first one with all these uh, uh, little platforms that cannot be destroyed when you have a power up. This music is really good. It's really good. Okay, I'm. I think I genuinely might look into this game. <laughs> I'm so glad. This is definitely my kind of thing. This is really cute. <laughs> it's. Uh, it has a lot of RNG because the level, like uh, a lot of the level layouts are the same. That's Takumi. Hi Takumi. Bye Takumi. Uh, Hi no. friend. Hi friend. Bye friend. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. Okay, I really shouldn't die. You know, I really shouldn't. I've heard it's bad for your health. It really is. Do you have time for a quick donation? Oh, yes, go for it. Uh, we have $25 from Nikasaur, who says, showing some love for my favorite space mouse, Xandra with the cool hair. Love you, lady. Aww. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nika. Thank you, Nika. Nika. Hi, Nika. Nika. I owe you. Please, please, mice, just let me... <laughs> There's a lot of mice here. There's so many mice, but the game, this is, the game will send a power up every so often. There we go. So if yeah, if you get into seemingly unwinnable situations, find a safe spot, wait, and the game will eventually send a power up to let you through. <sighs> yes, uh, someone, uh, Misty. Actually, hi, Misty. Misty in chat pointing out Space Mouse Two is coming out this year. Ooh. The folks who like part of the old version are now making a second one, and it's really looking great. Oh, that's so good. We need more good like arcade uh, style games in our 2020s. Yep, that was an intentional hug of a mouse. Because now we get to restart with four lives. Ooh. Very, very <laughs> smart. I... Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this level is <laughs> <introduces laughs> <the> top wall. <laughs> okay. Handbrake soft wall. Yeah, this, this level is kind of tricky because there are some parts where if you don't break the walls, the mice will accumulate and eventually just fill the room, like here. If I wait too long, the mice will overwhelm, and there will be, like, no possible way to... Oh! Ah! There we go. We're all good. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Um, yeah. So, this game is available online. Where can you find this, Xandra? You can get this on Steam. I think it's the only place right now to play it. No! Uh, but yeah, it's on Steam. It has the this is the 35th anniversary version of Space Mouse. The cool thing is that um, it has a lot of different view modes where you can actually play the version like the way it looked back on the PC 8001, and it is kind of so a cool. Perfect Blinko, great. Per okay, that part is always very very tricky. Whew. Also, shout out to the uh, spaceship just precariously balancing itself on the top of the building. All right, so hey, we, we are on to the final level, which is the hardest and the longest. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Can I squeeze in okay. another donor? I'm sorry? Can I squeeze in another donation? Heck yeah, go for it. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to mispronounce this name, but either you or Liz will correct me, I'm sure. We have $50 from Kyron, H3173, or HR173, who says Xandra's Squeak Squad represent. Oh. Hi, Kyron, thank you! No! <laughs> so sometimes you get cornered by a very affectionate mouse. Okay. Oh, zigged when I should have zagged. Okay. Uh, yeah, this probably will not work. Let's let's see. Maybe I can do it. I believe. I Thank believe. Thank you. I believe. I still believe. Nope. Nope. Oh. Yep. Sometimes it just works out that way. That's okay. We'll just keep going. Continue. Very carefully continue, because the other two options will kick you out of this. <laughs> okay. Sometimes the layout works against you, sometimes you get lucky. Okay. Also, there's some spots, like, uh, a lot of this game is RNG, but there are 
points where you will the game the level will always give you power-ups but and you can learn where these are and if you can chain power-ups because if you pick up multiple ones uh their uh their durations will stack so if you can figure out if you can like learn that part by heart then you can like get some some precious sec uh, seconds and this is also Keep in mind, this is why the estimate is this way, because this level is hard. This level is very hard. <laughs> it looks it. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's a there's an endless mode you can play if you... Mouse. How many floors is this level? Uh, too many. Fair enough. Good answer. I, Good answer. I forget exactly how many, but we're, we're... The last one was 150, so I'll assume this one's probably around 200. Yep. Okay, here we go. Was this game particularly uh, popular on uh, its original computer? I have no clue because I'd never even heard... Ah, oh, well, there we go. We, I've never even heard of the PC-8001 before I learned about this game. So it's it's been a really interesting little view, point of view on, like, old video game machines. I'm not, sh I, I'm not sure if it ever was released here. I mean, I know that we didn't get no. the, the PC-8001. That's definitely one of those, like, only... Is that a sharp? I'm gonna look it up. PC-8001. This is called Space Mouse. So shout out to Mickey Albert, who helped bring this game back into the world. Oh, no, that's... <clears throat> What I meant to say is, that's not, that's not a good place to be, Xander. Okay, well. <laughs> Sometimes you want to do a fancy move, and it turns out you probably shouldn't. Zig before, zig uh, instead of zagging. Yep. Space Mouse. I found a I found a thing on this. Space Mouse was first published in the PC eight thousand one uh, for the PC eight thousand one in October nineteen eighty one in an issue of Engineering Magazine I O, where it was very highly oh. rated and eventually ported to a wide range of personal computers of the era. It is a very early example of vertical scrolling in a video game. It definitely That's gives me like early NES vibes. Yeah. Yes. Like uh, this, this, ice climbers. Yes. Yes. This. This. Um. I think this uh, skin for the game is referred to as nest-like. Ooh. I can see it. No. Also, the control is weird because, okay, I am I am holding up. So if you hold up, your character will keep going, like in the same direction. So if I'm going right and I hold up, I will always automatically go right as soon as I can and then go up as soon as I can. I'll zigzag in a way. Mm. And it, this oh. kind of gives you an insight into how the enemies also work. Because they're they're working. They're uh, using Similarly, the same model. But, but uh, Down. downwards. Yeah. Exactly. I'm sorry? They're working the same way, but downwards. Exactly, exactly. And you meet in the middle and you hug, and then you have to take a break because you won't go to space. <laughs> Okay, let's see. This. Okay, so. Where are you going, little power up? Thank you! Nope. Level 5. Being rather mean today, but eh, what do you expect? It happens. The, the PC uh, 8001 is an NEC product. Oh, interesting. Sounds like, sounds like a thing they'd do. Can we actually make it? I believe. <laughs> I believe there's a lot of mice right now. There's a lot of mice. That's not a bad thing. There's too many mice. Oh gosh. There's a lot of mice. <laughs> there's so, so many mice. <laughs> oh. Also, they, they get spawned randomly. So sometimes they can 
they can appear in places they're not supposed to come from just because of the way the, the, the screen scrolls. Okay. You want to go fast in this game, but sometimes you really shouldn't. This is extremely stressful to watch. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, it is. It's extremely stressful to play. <laughs> but I love it. I love it a ton. Thank you for showcasing it, Sandra. Oh, I've, it's, I've really enjoyed this. No! This is almost the end. Okay. Oh, this is... This is again, very, quiet. very tall. Yep, yeah, this, 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 this is a tall building. It's a very tall building. It's 250 floors then, probably. Yeah. Mm, that sounds about right. <sighs> All right, let's see if we can make this happen. Is there a also, leader? Uh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. There is actually a leaderboard. There's also an endless mode where the goal is to get as high as possible up in an infinite building in only one life. Is it, like, of the same difficulty as this, or does it scale where it spawns more and more mice the further up you go? I, I think that's the case. It, it, it gets a little bit trickier as you go up, and uh, I think the highest score is in, like, in the 100,000 floors, so I'm like... I'm very, gosh, this I, this level five, is. this is probably the most difficult level five I've had yet. <laughs> sometimes it's just like that though. That's okay. Yeah, sometimes, they, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. It do. <laughs> All right, we'll keep trying. <laughs> to be fair, you're, you're if, I, if it turns out that I cannot defeat level 5 today, it's fine because uh, the game is like, there's, it loops after this point. So does you will it not say miss building out. 1 or does it say building 6, but it's the same as building 1? Uh, I forget. I think it goes back to... Oh, I think it says building 6, but it looks and acts exactly the same as building 1. Gotcha. Okay. Excuse me, mice. I just... Space cat passing through. <laughs> oh. Space Cat on a mission. Yes, on a mission to go to space. Also, sometimes the mites will bump into each other and it will like completely throw you off. Yeah, I was seeing that. Nope. Nice try, mice. Nice try. Okay. Something about this game just makes me smile. Yeah, it, it's kind of pleasant just to watch. It's like I, I have it. I have the biggest smile while I'm playing this too. So, <laughs> no, oh, I'm just power up. You have to be really careful here because they there's so many mice that they will sometimes um, bunch up against each other and make other mice go into places you are not expecting them to go. I'm gonna try to do this. So, I have a, a question. Yeah. On the right side, it shows a bunch of uh, things. Ooh, very good. It shows a bunch of like numbers and symbols. Um, some including like hearts I'm seeing. The coins make oh. sense is where you pick up a coin. What does the heart mean? Heart is when you pick up something, it's some, it's some sort of wild card. There's sometimes hearts, sometimes little monster heads. There's like weird little items. Like in the endless mode, you have potions you can grab, which do a very different thing. So I think it's just like their wild card for, and we did it time. Yay. Yay. Right. I was so focused. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting there watching the, the floor counter. And I was like, oh, it is 250, cool. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you, thank you for bearing with me. A little bit overestimate, but yes, this is this is Space Mouse. Cast to cast. Cast to cast. Yes. <laughs> and now we get to go to space. And in space is the world we know, except, you know, it just keeps going. In so, space, yep. no one can hear you squeak. <laughs> uh, 
That's right. And that so that was Space Mouse. Thank you ah. so much for sharing it, Xander. That was incredible. Very Thank pleasant. you so much for having me here. I'm, it's it's a great, it's a lot of fun. It's it's just it's just so cute. It's adorable, and it's like quick enough. And there's enough of like technique and skill ceiling that like if more folks want to run it, like yeah, no, there's there's definitely a lot of like a lot of room here. All right, I'm nice. looking into that. <laughs> <sighs> well, you're playing another game after this, right? Yes, we are going in space again, except instead of being a cat girl, we will be a, uh, a tiger. So I'm excited about that. All right, well, let's move on to that. Thank you so much, Dandra. Uh, do you want to... I, I feel like I'm taking over hosting. Zoe, take it for me. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, we'll be uh, right back with more Zandra, but we're going to jump to our break for just a moment. Bye-bye. And we have a $50 donation from Ryan, Daisy, and Fox, who says, Hey, Zandra, keep be being both awesome and inspirational. Thank you so much. That's really sweet. And even though we did not get the Takumi Dev Room, uh, incentive met. We do have plenty of great incentives coming up that you can still put your money towards. Uh, we have the Mega Man 3 DOS use a CGA rendering. Liz, what is that? CGA rendering? Yeah. Um, so basically, it's uh, an, an older form. It's an older uh, form of like graphics rendering for computers. And it uh, in this aspect, it will only reveal blue, pink, white, and black. Cool. All right. Those are three of my four favorite colors. Anyway, um, and then also we have the uninterrupted OST for Sonic Mania. Both of those are $1,000 goals, so get in your donations if you want to see either of those happen. We have a $25 donation from Anonymous with no comment. Thank you so much, Anonymous. We really appreciate that. The Yeti is donating $5 per Frost Fatale shirt sold to the Malala, uh, to Malala Fund. You can find the shirts at theyeti.com or exclamation point Yeti in chat. All right, going to throw it over to a quick Twitch ad, and we'll be back with Zandra uh, with Cosmo Tank. Hang in there.
All right, we are back. And just a quick reminder that Frost Bay Towels and other Hotfix events and shows are brought to you uh, by viewers like you. Your subscriptions and bits will help keep the channel running for these fun events, including shows like Frost Bay Towels, Rainbow Denver Generation, Retro Reboot, Time Capsule, Learning with Liz, and more. But without further ado, I'm going to send it back over to Xandra Vandra, who is going to be running Cosmo Tank for us.